If you're like me, you probably have a box like this laying around. It has a bunch of cables. It's got USB-C and Thunderbolt, micro USB, and some old cables you don't even know what to do with anymore. But you're probably afraid to throw them out like I am because what if you need that one cable? Well, in this video, I'm gonna explain the differences between some of these USB cables and maybe some that you could recycle or at least no longer have in your home. The reason why now is a good time to look through your cables, it was just announced that the iPhone will actually be moving to USB-C instead of the lightning port that it's had for the last 10 years. The European Union actually passed a law that mobile phones sold by 2024 and on need to have a USB-C port if they're gonna have a physical charging port. And because the iPhone is sold in Europe, they're going to have to comply by 2024. It might not be the iPhone 15 that gets it next year because 2024 would be the iPhone 16, but Apple Senior Vice President Greg Joswiak did say that they will comply with the EU mandate. So in the next couple of years, your iPhone is gonna have a USB-C connection instead of Lightning. So to be clear, this is the Lightning port that's been on the iPhone for the past 10 years. The Lightning connector is what plugs into the iPhone, and if you have accessories like the MagSafe battery pack, the MagSafe Duo, or most notably AirPods, those all still connect with the Lightning connector. Now the EU mandate only applies to mobile devices like phones, but I imagine if Apple's going to move the iPhone to USB-C, all the products that share lightning connectors like AirPods will also move to USB-C in the near future. And for context, here's a USB-C port on the left compared to a lightning on the right. There's no wrong way to plug it in upside down or right side up, just like a lightning connector. It is a little larger or thicker than lightning, but it is much more compatible and you literally find it everywhere. So should you get rid of all your cables except the USB-C ones? Well, maybe not yet. Let's look at some of the older USB type cables because you might still have some devices that use those old style connectors. Now you might still have some USB-A connectors around. These were the connectors where they never go in right the first time it seems. You try it, you try it again, still doesn't work, and then you try it a third time and somehow, now it works. And if you have a lot of old style power bricks, that's the kind of USB-A that plugs into them. Now you won't find this connector very much on the device side anymore, but you will find it on the part that goes into a charging brick or a plug. I would recommend no longer getting any charging cables with USB-A on the end. What I would recommend is always getting new cables with USB-C on the end that plugs into a power brick. This is one of my favorite from Anchor. It has two USB-C ports for charging and USB-C fits right in there. And as long as you have USB-C on the end that plugs into the power brick, you can use whatever cable for charging. Many of the bricks that Apple gives you with devices like iPads now will have USB-C on the end. Now before USB-C came the semi-standard everywhere, there was mini USB and micro USB, and you might still have some devices that use these kinds of connectors. This is what mini USB looks like. A lot of old cell phones would have used this, but notably if you have one of these microphones, which is a Yeti Blue, I'll be honest, I don't recommend this microphone, you may still need a mini USB cable right here, and that's what this cable fits into. If you still have to suffer through a microphone or other device that has a mini USB on one end, I'm sorry, but you might be able to get a USB-C to mini USB connector if you need. Otherwise, you probably have this on the other end, like the cable that comes with the Yeti, and you'll need one of these adapters that goes from USB-A, which is this rectangular connector, to USB-C. I'll put a link to these little adapters. You can get two for about $10, and they can come in handy if you still have some of these USB-A connectors lying around. Now, you might also have some micro USB devices as well. This is what a micro USB cable looks like. It's even smaller than mini USB and is probably the most annoying USB connector known to man. Because it's so tiny, it almost looks like it's reversible, meaning you can plug it in both ways, but it is not. It has to go in exactly right for it to work. There are still some very popular devices that use this micro USB connector. The Shure MV7 USB microphone, very popular. They do not make one with USB-C connection. But again, you can get cables like this on Amazon that are micro USB on one side and USB-C on another. This way it's easy to plug into a modern computer and you still get to use that micro USB device without some adapter. So as a rule of thumb, you still need some of your USB-C to lightning cables to charge your devices. But if you're gonna buy any kind of power brick or new cables for your devices, I suggest getting USB-C to lightning if you need something for your phone or AirPods or USB-C to USB-C. And I have to tell you, they are not a sponsor, but Anchor makes some of the nicest USB-C to USB-C cables. This is their flow line. It's a very rubbery material, doesn't tangle, and it feels great. These are from Anchor. You can get them in different colors, and I'll put a link in the video description on where you can get those. Now, the last confusing piece of the puzzle is something that looks just like USB-C, but is actually Thunderbolt. The connector is actually exactly the same as USB-C, but the Thunderbolt cable can transfer more data at faster speeds than regular USB-C. Times when you would need a Thunderbolt cable is if you're connecting an external monitor, like a studio display or pro display XDR, or 
fast peripherals like a video switcher or some audio interfaces. Thunderbolt cables can be pretty expensive, especially at longer lengths, but I recommend if you have to buy a Thunderbolt cable, and if you buy a device that's Thunderbolt compatible, hopefully you'll know if you need one, try to get one that had the lightning symbol on the end. As long as there's a lightning symbol right there on the connector, you'll know that this is a Thunderbolt cable and not just a regular USB-C. So while you can't get rid of all your cables just yet, hopefully you can start paring down to USB-C everywhere. USB-C lightning if you need to charge your iPhone and AirPods directly, or USB-C on both ends for most other devices. The base model iPad is USB-C now, as well as iPad mini, Air, and iPad Pro. And if you have an Android device, you probably have USB-C already as well. If you have any questions on USB cables, leave a comment below this video. I'd love to answer you there. And subscribe to the Bearded Teacher channel. We have lots of iPhone tips, iPad tips, and more, especially in the shorts. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you next time.